Today, we find ourselves outside of the regular sanctuary, but we've created this space that is suitable and safe for worship. We met and measured, and we set up the chairs, and so that we could gather together for the first time in several months. It reminded me of the story in Exodus, when God gave Moses the law on Mount Sinai, and he also gave him instructions of things to build. The first thing that he was instructed to build was a tent called the tabernacle, or the tent of meeting. And it was transportable, so it moved when the Israelites moved. God promised to meet with the people there. You see, God didn't necessarily dwell in the hearts of humans until after Christ's death and resurrection, so he would dwell in a certain place during the time of the Israelites in the Old Testament. So the tabernacle was kind of divided into two rooms. In the first room was the holy place, and there was a special table for bread and a golden lamp stand with seven candles and an altar for burning incense. The second room was called the most holy place, and that held the Ark of the Covenant. Now, the Ark of the Covenant was a special chest covered in gold. On top, it held, two statue, it held statues of two angels with wings facing each other, and inside the Ark, they placed the stone tablets of God's law. So this special tent was approximately 15 feet wide, or about 4.5 meters, 15 feet high, so again, about 4.5 meters, and 45 feet long, so that's about 13 and a half meters. And it was made with very special materials. And all of these instructions and what the tabernacle was to be made from is contained in Exodus chapter 25 to 27 and chapters 35 to 40. Now, we didn't actually have to construct this building for our temporary holy place to worship God, but we did need our measuring tapes until we discovered that the tile on the floor are actually one foot by one foot, so then we just had to walk off the distances. So there were a group of us that came, and they were very willing volunteers, and set up our chairs in the positions that are ready for worship to today and tomorrow. Now. We also don't need to have to like take down the entire fellowship hall each week, but we do have to sanitize and stack the chairs, wash the floors, and follow other safety protocols in order to ensure that we can worship God in health and in safety. So, welcome to our temporary, highly flexible, God-honoring tent of worship. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the tabernacle. And even though the tabernacle moved, you are constant. You are with us wherever we are, in the church's sanctuary, in the fellowship hall, and everywhere in between. We thank you that now you dwell in us wherever we go. In Jesus' name, amen.